In this video, I want to show you how to easily do web scraping using the ChatGPT code interpreter. We're going to be able to scrape any website with a method that I'm going to show you, and we're going to do this in a few minutes. So let's get started. All right, unlike other methods that I showed you in the past to do web scraping with ChatGPT, this one is very straightforward. We're not going to use any plugin or any other method that I showed you before, but we're going to go to the website that we want to scrape. For example, I'm going to start with Amazon and here I search for TVs. And the first thing we're going to do is press Ctrl S and we're going to save all of this as an HTML file. So I press Ctrl S or Command S if you're on a Mac and then you're going to get this. So we're going to save this file as an HTML. So this one is going to be Amazon.com TVs and I'm going to save it. So I'm going to press on save and now I have this file on my computer. Then we're going to upload this file to ChatGPT code interpreter. So we go to GPT-4, we select code interpreter and then we upload this file. So I press on this button and then I select this HTML file that we just uh, saved. So here if I see the preview, we're going to see that website, but now in this simple HTML format. And we have to upload this file to tell ChatGPT to extract some elements from this file. And we're going to use the following prompt. From the HTML file, extract the name of the product and price and put the data on a table and export it to a CSV file. So basically, we're going to extract only the name of the product, for example, Amazon Fire TV, and then the price, 349. And then we want to put this on a table and export it into a CSV file. So with this, sometimes it's enough, but in this case, I'm going to add more details and I'm going to tell or I'm going to help ChatGPT by giving the element where this name of the product and the price is in the HTML file. So here I'm going to right click and press on inspect and we're going to get this developer tools. So here, what we're going to provide is the name of the element where this name of the product is located. So in this case, is this element, as you can see, if I select this, this name or this element, this is highlighted in blue. So this is the element. So I'm going to copy and I'm going to paste it here. So I'm going to uh, press here and we have the element of the name of the product. Now we have to continue with that price. So here I select the price and now we have the price, which is this one. So I'm going to press control C and then I'm going to paste it below. I'm going to tell now ChatGPT that here is the element of one of the products. So it's going to help get the right element. So here I type, here's the element of one product. And then I'm going to tell ChatGPT that this one is the element of the price. And finally, to finish with this prompt, which is pretty long, I'm going to deal with the missing data because as you can see here there are some tvs that don't have the price and in case we don't tell ChatGPT what to do it's going to duplicate the price of other product for example here we have samsung electronics and this one doesn't have a price so probably it's going to duplicate the 157 from this product or the 1696 from this other tv so i'm going to tell uh, ChatGPT how to deal with this missing data. So here I'm going to tell this in case the price of the product is missing, just leave that price as a null data. And with this, we are done. So I'm going to send this message and we're going to see how ChatGPT and the code interpreter is going to do all of this. So as you can see, ChatGPT is extracting the name of the products. For example, here first we have the Amazon Fire uh, 43 inches and probably this is the first one yeah and it's 349 and as we can see is the correct price and the correct product now it's doing some more stuff and yeah now it's creating the table that we wanted and we have two columns the name of the product and the price and then it's providing this csv file with all the data script i'm gonna download this csv file and i'm gonna open it up so here i have the products that csv that chat gpt generated and now we can see all the data script so we can see the amazon fire tv 43 inches toshiba insignia and more brands and here we can see the price and if we go here we're going to see that all the data was correctly extracted and if that's not the case you can just do some prompting and tell chat gpt what was the mistake so you get the right data and the data is not corrupted or it doesn't have any issue and now what i'm going to do is extract the same data but from that second page so i'm going all the way down and i'm gonna click on the second page to show you how you can do this in all the pages. I'm going to do an example with the second page. So here 
I'm going to close this one and I'm going to repeat the same process. So here I press Control S to save this. Sorry. So here now I press Control S. This is the second page. And now I'm going to write Amazon.com uh, underscore TVs too. So here I download this and now it's done. So I have this file. Then I go to ChatGPT and I'm going to upload this second page to extract all this data. So here I press uh, on upload, then I upload this second page. And now I'm going to the first prompt that I I typed and here I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna paste it. So I'm gonna tell ChatGPT that this is the second part of the website. So I typed, this is the second page of the previous website. Use the HTML file to extract the data following the same steps I described before. So these are gonna be the same steps, but this is just the second page. So I'm going to press here and we're gonna extract the data from this second page. Now, as you can see, it successfully extracted the name of the products and the price from the second page, and now it's concatenating the two pages into one data frame to export it into a single CSV file. So now I'm gonna click on download products combined, and now we're gonna have this file. Now I'm gonna open this file and we're gonna see the preview. And as you can see, we have more rows. So let's see here, the second page starts with Visio 40 inch. And if we can see here, we should be able to find this product. So it's here, BC 40 inch, D series, full HD, and the price is 168, if I'm not wrong. And here we can see the same uh, name of the product and the same price. So we successfully scraped not only the first page, but also the second page. And you can continue with this, uh, with this process, with the third, the fourth, and the fifth page and as many pages as you want. And this is how you scrape data from Amazon using this approach with a code interpreter. Now, I'm gonna show you another example. And in the second example, I'm gonna show you a slightly different approach to do web scraping. All right, now we're on the Glassdoor website and here we're gonna extract the data that you see on the left. So here I typed data scientist to find jobs uh, for data scientist. And what we're gonna do is something similar, but we're gonna do uh, we're going to use a different approach. So here I'm going to chat GPT again, and I'm going to open a new chat. And again, I'm going here to Glassdoor and I'm going to save this as HTML. So I press control S, then I have this Glassdoor job search, and I'm going to type that HTML. So here underscore DS uh, for the designs. And then I'm going to save this and now we have this file. So once we have this file, again, we go to GPT-4 code interpreter and we upload this file. So Glassdoor job search .html. I open this and we're gonna use the following prompt, which is very similar to the previous one, but we have some, some other things that I'm gonna add it. So here from the HTML file, look for the elements with the ID below and extract their data. So. I'm going to use the ID as the identifiers for this, the elements that I want to extract. And the elements that I want to extract is the name of the, of the company. Then I also want to extract the job title, in this case, data scientist, then the location, and finally the job salary. And I can use the same approach I used before, uh, which is right click, inspect, and copy the element I want to extract. But sometimes it might not work. And in case it doesn't work, you can use a different approach, analyzing just the element that you're using. In this case, I have this element and here, as you can see, there is an ID and this ID has a very clear name, job title. And this job title represents the name of this job, which is data scientist. So here, if I copy all this, the name of the ID, I can just, uh, list all the IDs I want to extract. So I started with the job title. Then I can continue with the company, the name of the company. So here I can go to job employer and then copy and paste it again. So here, instead of job title, job employer, and then I want to continue with the location and the salary. So here, select again the location. Then I'm going to use the ID, which should be here. So ID, job location, just copy and paste it we have one more, which is the salary. And again, just select the salary and then the ID. Actually, you can use another element, not necessarily the ID. I'm just using the ID because it's unique, but you can use the data test uh, 
attribute or the class. It might work. It might also not work, but it depends on the website that you're scraping. So here, finally, I have job salary. And as you can see, these IDs have these numbers which are not necessary, so I can delete these numbers. Again, you can simply copy the whole element and paste it as we did before, but in this case, we're only using these words. And now I'm gonna tell ChatGPT that to put the data on a table and export it into a CSV file. And in case there is missing data, because there are some companies that don't have the salary uh, here, that for example, this one doesn't have the salary. So in case there is missing data, just leave it as null data. So now I press enter. Now ChatGPT says that there is no element with the specified IDs and that's true because I deleted the rest of the ID and I only left these words. And what I can tell ChatGPT is to use regex to match that part of the ID. So I'm gonna type the following. So those are parts of the ID use regex to match that part of the name of the ID. And with this, ChatGPT is not going to match exactly the whole name of the ID, but it's going to verify that if the ID contains these words, job employer, job title, location, and salary, is going to be enough to extract this data. So here I'm going to tell this, and hopefully we're going to be able to extract the data that we wanted. So as you can see, ChatGPT extracted all the data and even told me that there is some mismatch in the number of elements found for each category. So hopefully it left the, the data point as null and it didn't duplicate any, any job title or location or salary. So we're gonna verify this. I'm gonna download the CSV file. So now I open a preview and as we can see here, we have this data. So I'm going to Glassdoor to verify if it's the same data. So we have here, for example, UCLA Health, that's scientist, LA, and 26.20, the hour, and yeah, it's exactly this one. Then, for example, we have Snapchat, 205,000 per year, and yeah, it's the same. So we successfully extracted all the data. And in case it duplicated some rows by mistake, you can tell ChatGPT that it duplicated the rows and that it should leave the data or the missing data as null or as NAN. All right, let me know in the comment section if this approach to scrape websites using the code interpreter is easy and whether you were able to scrape the website that you wanted using the code interpreter. All right, that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one.